Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the community workshop regarding possible safety improvements on US-1. Safety has always been a priority as the Florida Department of Transportation works to achieve its goal of zero fatalities on Florida state highways. Recently, the department decided to sharpen its focus even more on using every tool available to enhance safety for drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists within every project. During the workshop, we will present information on different tools that could be used to help encourage slower driving speeds and enhance safety for all roadway users. The purpose of tonight's workshop is for us to listen to your feedback about this section of US-1 and the improvements that you would like to see to help enhance safety. There are multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project, and we will provide that information during the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to participate. It is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. This public meeting is being held in accordance with state and federal regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R dot S-M-I-T-H, the number two, at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, Statewide Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwannee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4753 or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. That's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E dot P-A-R-A-M-O-R-E at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The Florida Department of Transportation is considering additional safety options in conjunction with two planned improvement projects along US-1 from Post Road to Pineda Causeway or State Road 404 in the town of Palm Shores. The first project, Financial Project Identification, or FPID number 445215-1, will repave US-1 from Post Road to Miller Cove Road. Other planned improvements include closing sidewalk gaps, upgrading pedestrian crossings, enhancing roadway lighting, and upgrading existing traffic signals. The project would be constructed with the second adjacent project, FPID number 444992-1. The second project, FPID number 444992-1, is intended to rehabilitate and reconstruct the stormwater drain pipe that carries water from the retention pond on Madrid Drive under US-1 and out to the Indian River near Castaway Marine. The project also plans to reconstruct the stormwater drain on the east side of US-1 and repave the roadway from Miller Cove Road to Pineda Causeway. Information about both projects was mailed out to property owners along the corridor earlier this year. As mentioned earlier, the FDOT is committed to using every tool available to enhance safety along our roadways. Of course, not all tools make sense in every situation or fit with the community's vision of a particular corridor. That's why we want to hear from the community this evening. Our goal is to listen to your feedback about potential ways to enhance safety at intersections, encourage drivers to slow down and travel at a safer speed while still maintaining good traffic flow, and providing safer travel options for bicyclists. 
There are four intersections along the corridor that have a full median opening, where vehicles can turn right or left from both the main roadway and side streets or driveways. These are at Rockway Drive, Silver Oak Boulevard, Palm Shores Boulevard, and Madrid Drive. Intersections with full median openings have the most conflict points, or places where vehicles could potentially cross paths and collide. The department recognizes there are concerns about safety for drivers turning out of Silver Oak Boulevard. The department has evaluated this intersection for a traffic signal, and a new signal is not warranted at this time. There are other tools that we can discuss with the community. Additionally, encouraging slower driving speeds should help to enhance safety at the intersections. One tool that can help to encourage safer driving speeds is to enhance or alter the existing median and install taller landscaping, which helps make the corridor look and feel narrower, thus encouraging drivers to be more alert and slow down. Bicycle safety is also a priority for the department, and there are many different options ranging from a shared use path to shared lanes where bicycles and vehicles travel in the same lane. The different options for bicyclists offer varying degrees of separation from the vehicles. Less experienced riders are typically more comfortable when they are separated from travel lanes. One example of separating the bicycle lane from vehicle traffic is a protected bicycle lane that has some kind of raised barrier between the bicycle lane and the travel lane. Another option is to have a bicycle lane separated from the travel lanes with striping. In this section of US-1, there would be enough space to add a dedicated bicycle lane if the width of each travel lane was reduced by one foot. Narrower lanes can also help to encourage safer driving speeds. We are looking for your feedback about the safety tools presented, as well as suggestions of where along the corridor they are most needed. To submit comments in person, please speak to a member of our project team or complete a printed comment form and return it to the project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project websites at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445215-1 and www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 444992-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at gene.verano at dot.state.fl.us. That's G-E-N-E dot V-A-R-A-N-O at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Verano at 386-943-5145 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on this project notification that you may have received by mail. Design for these projects is expected to finish in summer 2022. All proposed improvements will be constructed with an existing right-of-way. Construction is expected to begin in fall 2022. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this workshop and providing your input. If you have comments or questions after the workshop, please submit them by December 31st, 2021. The department will respond to questions and comments in writing. Contact information, the community workshop presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project websites. Have a good evening.